I was doing some research for my next keyboard to review, and I came across this keyboard right here. This is called the Motospeed CK80. This is a full-size keyboard that comes customizable with backlit RGB for the keys, as well as the underglow. Now what really strikes out to me is how this keyboard was advertised. The reason I decided to pick this up was because of the switches that come included. If you take a look right here, it states that it's equipped with Zeus optical switches. When I first read this, I had no idea what they are or what brand they are from. In this video, I'm going to provide you a full review and demonstration of this keyboard as well as the Zeus switches. I first discovered this keyboard from BZ Future. While browsing the website for my last chair video, I came across the keyboard. I reached out to them and asked if they could send me a review unit so that I can create a video on it. Thankfully, they agreed to my request and sent one over. Aside from this keyboard, they carry a wide variety of products, including software and electronics that you can find available on the website. You can check them out by clicking the link in the video's description. First, let's talk about what you get when you receive the box. You can see the brand and model of the keyboard all around the package, with some images of how the unit looks. On the side and on the back, you'll find the specification and other information of the keyboard. When opening the package, you get the keyboard contained in the static free wrap that holds the unit in place with two styrofoam pads on the side. Once removed, you'll be greeted with your keyboard, and that is it. There are no accessories or inclusions that come in the package aside from the manual and warranty card. When it comes to the keyboard's design, it's a full-size model containing 104 keys. The build is plastic all around from the keycaps as well as the housing. One thing you might notice is the dual coloring for the appearance. It's both black and gray, giving it a nicer look in my opinion. On the left side of the keyboard, you'll find a wheel with the Motospeed's logo that you can freely adjust for both the RGB lighting as well as the volume on your computer. On the back side of the keyboard, you get four rubber stops to keep the keyboard in place and two flip up feet for angle adjustments. You'll see that there's an X in the middle of the back side. This is only for design and not to be confused for cable channeling. On the top side of the keyboard, if you haven't noticed yet, you can see that the keyboard is wired, meaning that you cannot detach the cable. Also, the connection is USB 2.0 for anybody that cares. The material is rubberized, so be sure not to bend or damage the cable, otherwise you'll wear down the durability. Surrounding the perimeter is a translucent plastic to display the RGB underglow once you connect the keyboard. For the keycaps, it's PBT material featuring dual coloring. Taking a look at it, the dark colors cover about 90% of the portion, while the remaining 10% is translucent to display the RGB. I couldn't get any information on what profiles the keycaps are, so if anyone knows, feel free to share some insights with us in the comments. Now, let's talk about the switches. So, Zeus Optical Switches, as it states. I tried doing as much research on them as possible, and I couldn't find any information. The only thing that is Zeus Optical is the chipset that is installed to the keyboard's PCB, which you can pause and read right here. Now, back on topic, the only available options for the switches other than this one are gold switches and silver switches. They're called Odom or Autumn switches, I'm not sure if there are any relations to Automos, but the gold switches are apparently similar to blue switches, while the silvers are the same as reds. So if we go back to these switches, what are they? The only other information I could find is that it's waterproof and that the lifespan press is about 60 million. Aside from that, if we take a look at the back side of the box, you can see what other brands and switches that you have to choose from. There we can see we have both Cherry switches and Automo switches, so am I safe to assume that these switches for this keyboard are Automo switches? If so, then what could they be? For now, we'll just refer to them as Zoo switches, even though it's not a thing. For those that are wondering what they sound like, the only resemblance that comes to mind are blue switches. Here, have a listen for yourself.
Before we move on, I do want to test this out on Osu, where we can really see how this keyboard performs. This is so that we can know the response time, the feel, the feedback, and lastly, the overall performance. For the features, let's start with the main one, the RGB. The keyboard has backlit RGB for both the keycaps and underside of the keyboard. Using the function shortcuts, you can switch the color modes, effects, and other displays. You can also determine the speed of the effects, as well as changing the brightness levels. The keyboard supports any key rollover, allowing it to register all the key press if you decide to press them all at once. It also has Windows shielding to prevent the window key from activating during a game. Most of these features are pretty standard, and if you want to learn more, you can always check out the manual. In conclusion, I'll give you my opinion of this keyboard. Overall, I have no complaints other than that the keyboard is wired. When it comes to the switches, I still have no clue what they are, but when using them, I found no complaints. They work perfectly fine, they're clicky, and when it comes to Osu, they perform the same as brown switches. The price of the keyboard retails for $100, but I believe it's on sale right now for $70 at the time of making this video. BZ Future did provide me with a coupon code if you want to use that to save an additional 10% off. I will put all the information in the video's description, and while you're there, you can see my available socials like our Patreon if you want to support the channel, or you can get involved with the community by joining our Discord. To stay updated and contact me directly, feel free to follow me on Twitter. That will be all for the review of the Moda Speed CK80, as well as the Zeus Optical Switches. If you have any suggestions for keyboards to review next, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again real soon.